Well, Academy Sports certainly has a lot of rigs, and you yes, got the techniques here at the CCA Workbench, Dave. So, you know, sailfish, we've talked many times about the All type the rigs. of way we're going to rig our bait. Yeah. But we don't often talk about what happens at the point of sailfish contact with our bait. Right. Well, you know, that's very important. And when, when we're when we're out fishing for these things, uh, there's a lot of ways you can do them, but, but this is the way that we do it a lot, uh, trolling with a ballyhoo and a circle hook. And what we have to do then is because we're trolling and we're not using a live bait is we have to drop the circle hook back because a circle hook has to be swallowed for it to work. Correct. If I'm jerking on the line before he gets that hook down, then it's not gonna work. I'm gonna come back with a head or the Sancocho as they call that. So what I wanna do is soon, I'm, as soon as I get my ballyhoo on the bait, I'm on, on the hook, it's gonna be out there you know, we're going to do swimming something along. You're going to show, you're going to show them how to hook it. Why not? <laughs> All right. So if this is our sailfish or any fish's mouth with a circle hook, look, yeah, it comes if you the... yank guys, look what happens. It doesn't hook, it's but if you come just up slow. slowly slide, look every time, right, right Dave? Right. And it goes right in the corner. Yeah? Exactly. And we probably won't be able to get it out now. Oh, thank oh, goodness. Yeah. Right, anyway, sorry. so you got your, you got your bait out there and you got a, a ballyhoo on it. And usually when we're on the, this is called the short bait. You know, the long baits are going to be baits that we can't see really. They're going to be out there a good ways. The captain can see them, but we can't. These short baits that we pitch back or are already out there, you know, 50, 60 feet, we can actually see the bait on top of the water. So we're going to keep our eye on the bait. Once we have the bait out in the wash, we're going to keep our eye on it. And we're going to have the, the reel, these lever drag reels are going to be in free spool. And my, and I have my thumb on the, on the reel holding the bait in position because the fish doesn't like a bait coming at him. Correct. And he doesn't like him going away. He likes him sitting right there. I like him sitting right there so he can pile on it. So we're sitting there looking at the bait, looking at the bait. I'm not looking at the other fish t piling on the teaser over here or, you know, watching the bird fly around waiting for my bite. I'm watching my bait because if I got my eyes on the bait, as soon as that fish comes and eats it, I can let it go. And I point my rod tip at the fish and let it go in free spool. And I'll let him go for like three or four seconds. That's a great point. Because yeah, you gotta, you, you, if, you guys, start the, if you start the rod tip motion towards the fish as soon as he bites, what happens is it keeps the, the momentum from building up. And if you hold on to it and he bites, and then you let go once he bites, you've pulled a little bit of tension on there and you let go and you'll get a backlash. And that's not, we don't want a backlash. You shouldn't be afraid of getting a backlash because if you don't drop back in freeze pool a lot, then you're probably going to have your thumb on there too much. And if you have your thumb on there too much, he will not swallow the bait. It'll he'll stay. Feel he'll feel that he'll little keep, bit of drag. He'll, he'll think, oh, this bait is not dead, so I can't swallow it. He'll feel that little tug and mm -hmm. he'll say, I'm not going to swallow it. I'm not going to swallow it. And then you go and try him and the bait is still not swallowed and you get the head back. Now, if you've got pure free spool, and if line's coming, falling off the rod tip, not straight line, you know, it's falling off in free spool. You wait your three or four seconds and you put it up into strike and you start to wind. You don't jerk. You just wind and you wind slowly. You don't have to crank as hard as you can. You saw what you You saw what happens. It's same, same thing will happen if you jerk or if you wind real fast. So you just wind and if the fish comes tight, it'll bend up and you get pull, start pulling some drag out. If not, you wind the bait back up, get it in free spool again, put your back bait down and hold it in position again. Because you're using a circle hook, that fish did not get hurt. All you did was a fish came out of his mouth and he said, oh, I'm gonna have to go catch it again. Where is it? it got and, away. and you wound it right up to the top and he can see it again. And he's gonna come back and eat it again. And if you're looking at your bait, rod tip way high now, because the bait has gone back further, and you have to get your rod tip up so you can see the bait on the surface. But he eats it again. He, that's right. That's what I was going to ask you. When he eats it, right. you can't have your rod tip up because no. of the resistance going up right. and then down. You just throw it right at him as soon as you see it eat it. And then you're in free spool again. And try him again. You can do that three and four times. And they'll keep coming back, coming back, coming back. And once you get him on, very important to realize that you are not a winch. You are a line retriever. The captain should turn the boat. We should be making a turn as soon as we get hooked up to catch two or three. Nobody's ever caught a double header by winding all their stuff in when they got one hooked up. And we want to make a turn and, and try to get tell twos Tell me and what threes. we do when we get him beside the boat. In vogue, out of the water, no. <laughs> Never. 
you know, I've, I've, I haven't put one in, a, in the boat in a long, long time, and a sailfish should never come in the boat. He's reach over, slime yeah, reach over and cut him off. If you subdue a billfish to the point where you can put him in the boat, you've probably killed him. Oh, you know, yeah, you probably have. Not necessarily, but we're I, just gonna I wouldn't leave do it. it at you. Let him go. Let him go. Let Great. him go. Want one? <laughs> Thanks, James. Those are some good tips.